Hey everyone, this is the next video in series about microservices communication using REST template. So in this video so far we have looked into uh, why do we need the REST template. So where, when there are multiple services they need to be enabled to communicate each other. So we are using REST template to enable the communication among services and in doing so we have seen there are different methods in REST template which uh, we can use to call the other service. So first one is exchange which we have finished till now we have understood what it is in the next video we are look, going to look into next to one where we have for entity and for object like we have get for entity post for entity and get for object and post for object okay so let's go ahead and see the demo so this is the user management client that we have been looking looking into and the service that we are calling is the spring data demo which has different endpoints to list the users single to get the single user and add the user delete the user as well as update the user okay so we are calling that service from this user management client so we have used rest template and its instance we have used new rest template by doing this it by default adds what you need so we have been using this huge exchange method of rest template here okay here we have uh, done different methods of what to do like uh, add user delete user and update user okay next we are going to see first we are going to see for entity method so for that for separation i have created a new class separately okay to so this separately and we will call that from that main method only so this is uh, this contains this base url which is for the service that we are calling this is the rest template similar new rest template this is the driver method that is calling the different method get single object single list and adding the user using exchange using for entity method so first we are going to look into get single object see this is the we have added a specific endpoint user slash 5 mean it is going to get the user that has id 5 and this is the base url that we have it is calling get for entity it is passing the url and then response type that it has so let's go ahead and explore this more so for get for entity we have url response type and uri variables uri variables means you want to pass something extra in map uh, some parameter then you can pass that okay so we have this and response type only okay so there are different flavors for get for entity so get for entity is this and response type and second one it is the bar architecture it is taking and in the next variation it is taking the map as get for entity right and in the next one get for entity it is just taking the url and response type three flavors for get for entity okay so you can use any of these so we are using this one which is taking the url and response type only okay so what it is returning it is returning the response entity of type string okay so as earlier we can get the status code we can get the details that it is returning inside body and i can get the headers so this is for the single object okay what for list endpoint is users only it is returning the list of objects list of users so we have same url and list response type that it is returning and same headers and status code and the details okay and then adding user adding user also it has methods as post for entity and before that it is taking url and user the object that you are going to add okay earlier in exchange we were passing the http entity as request object but in this one you just have to pass the exact object that you want to add this is the difference and post for entity and get for entity in exchange you are passing the http method as a parameter in the method call but here it is itself method call is itself get for entity so it internally adds the get call like you see http method get when, when it is calling the execute method internally okay so likewise in post also i do not have to pass that http method it does that internally this http method post okay so this also has three variations okay post for entity URI variables it is taking and in the next one it is taking the map and 
then post for entity it is not taking at all response request and url okay so third last one that is uri variables it takes two it can take that one with two met two types it can whether take map or var arg as object okay any way you can pass that if you need so post for object is going to add this user at this url and return type will be this string okay so we can get that and this is the similar status code and all that it is returning so i can also add user and list object i can also write the method for deleting a particular a particular user okay so i'm just going to write that delete user okay and i'm going to copy this stuff from here okay and here i have to make changes here delete so for delete you do not have like delete for entity and delete for post because you calling that delete and it is going to delete delete the resource that it that is at the location that you are giving okay so i can just pass the url that you want to delete and it will delete that one so just url like this okay and so response type if i go and check the response uh return type for this it is void okay so it will return that just one so i can delete all of this and i can just print it here so i want to delete the user that have id 20 so it will delete that user okay so i can say that user deleted so see how easy it is right so i can do that is this is the delete user and for the update one also i can call the same way update user okay for update user what is that so we had endpoint like this if i show you the spring data demo so how put mapping is taking update address and then id and the new address okay so i have to give this point here and this is the suppose five i want to change okay and the new address that I want to give. So suppose I want to give USA, right? So it will change the address of this user that has five to new address USA. Okay, user updated. I have to call put here. It also has different three different variables flavors. Put method also has three different types: put URL and request object, and then we have this request and this object request okay so you just call it okay so uh, inside url we do not want to pass any specific object so i can keep that null also that is not that is okay because do not we do not have any object to pass in the body okay so that is okay so if you have you can pass instead of uh, this null okay so it can work both the way so I can delete, I can call this delete and update user from this here also and then we can run delete user and update user. So, so I can run it and see one by one. So this one I can call it. So then we will see the console of what it is printing there. Okay. So user updated, user deleted, we can see that. So just go ahead and user management line and i want to i do not want to call exchange method at this moment so just comment it out and method for rest template for entity i want to demo that part only so just comment it out and so i have created the object of that this class if i go here this class is here right and then driver method i am calling here which ultimately will call the all the methods that it has so let me go ahead and run this yeah i got all the responses right this is the for entity methods demo so uh, let's see each one one by one so it is calling the rest template info that we have we are getting here it is getting the user five that we have given while getting a single call okay so it returned it has written the user that has five this one okay and in the second call in response header also it has written the things that it has and in the second call it is getting the 
list of users where it is calling the endpoint users okay and it is printing all the users that it has if you see it is the whole lot of list like this okay it has list of user and in the third one we are calling the SCTP post method okay where it is adding a user right so it has response to 01 created okay I got the response right so this user is created ID null we are passing and green null on, on all this okay so response body and response header so with users inside headers we have got the location where the user has been added if I click it I can get the green learner last name address and noida okay and then SCTP delete method it is calling the with the user 20 if I click it I won't get anything because this has been deleted okay so SCTP put it has updated the user with address with which has id as 5 if i go here at 5 it is what error it is giving method not allowed is to be status 405 because it this endpoint has a http method as put so i cannot pass that from browser so if i have if i want to see the details of 5 so i have to go to user and then i can pass 5 because i want to see the details of id 5 so address usa it is returning okay so everything delete get put post is working properly here in this case and one more variation i wanted to show you uh, this while adding user we have this post for entity right and we have one more rest template post for entity like post for location if i go to rest template dot post for object we have this url post for location what it will return if i it, it has also the same method signature that others have post for entity but it will return exact location for me uri okay at what location it has created that resource okay so if i just comment out for this uh, for this moment uh, just not comment it out but just let's add the one more resource that it is pointing out okay so just copy it it is directly going to return me the address where it is adding the user right this post for location if i go ahead and run this again so we are looking for the uri so in console so just go here and look for the URI so yeah it has created this 32 user okay so here in the first call it has created 31 also and 32 also with the same user so if I go here and see this 32 I can get the same user that it has so I wanted to just show you the post for location what it returns it returns the URI so in the delete method it is returning error because with user 20 it already has deleted that resource and again it is trying to delete the resource that is not there that is why it is returning the internal error okay it is not found uh, that location what it is requesting so this is all about this uh, rest for entity method so similarly we can see also the uh, similarly we can also look into the uh, this post for entity Similarly, we can also look into the for object method also. So for now, just comment it out. This one that we have looked into and just uncomment this post for it. Just go here. Okay. It also has the same thing. Base URL, rest template and the method. Get list object, get symbol and add user. Get for object. So in get for entity, if you notice the differences I wanted to show you. The differences I want to show you get for entity it is returning the response entity and then we are going ahead and returning the status code headers and get body but in get for object it is directly returning the user that it is returning from the third party right so this is the difference in similarly list object get for object it is returning the list type I can get the direct I can directly get the list we do not get the headers here just remember so there comes many situations right so we do not we are we do not want to care about the 
status that it is returning and headers that it is returning so we do we should not call that one that get for entity post for entity v this get for object and post for object is sufficient for me it, i do not need that add user also post for object it can directly return the response for me uh, what response it is returning and if you do not want to use post for object if you want to uh, get the location where it is adding so you can use the post for location that i showed you okay because in this response it is not going to return anything because it has nothing to return so better better way to use the post for location okay so just this is a simple one so i can go ahead and uh, run this in this case it will call this uh, the methods of this post for for object methods that we have okay this one so just go ahead and run this yeah got it right so it is returning the http calling the http get and all so it is returning the list of object and it is http post it has written writing this this one and this response that i told you that it is not going to return anything okay oh, so response type text and all these that it has okay so this was all about rest template this was all about the methods that rest template has we can use to call the third party services like get for entity get for object and exchange one and adding deleting updating and adding deleting updating the responses that they have okay so in the next video we are going to look, we are going to explore about the customization what customization we can do with the rest template because sometimes we are getting the json response sometimes we are getting the xml response from the third party and there are other things also you need to add interceptors and you want to add customize more things there how we can do that so we will see that in the next video till then you take care and play around with this that we have showed you and for the code part you can go to the green learner page that we have in github so if you go to here just navigate to the parent page and for the rest template you can go ahead here and i am posting all the codes here user management client that i am showing you and the proper detail also where you can get the videos of the videos to explain this code only so you can just bookmark this page and get get all the details into videos as well as code also okay so play around with this and you see any issue put that in comment section i'll be happy to help you out so i'll see you in the next video bye bye